Okay. So let's bring this stuff up. We can close that. That we can leave open. Alright, so we're going to need to go here and to free cam and hit find and it'll bring up your free cam window. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that use free cam is checked. Um, then what you're going to want to do is go into a match. Uh, it doesn't matter what match it is, just start a match. You're basically using this match to define your presets. Um, if you've already got presets, that's cool. You can use those too. But I'm going to assume that you're all starting from scratch, essentially. So let's do this. Uh, we'll go with those two. I don't want entrances right now because I want this to be quick. We'll go to your raccoon hall. And it will load up. And then you're going to want to bring this up. I usually do this on a second screen, but I uh, don't have that luxury since I need it on this screen for you to be able to see what I'm doing. So this may look a little weird or whatever. But once you have used free cam checked, you can do this. And it will move. And you can rotate. Oh, that one didn't work. Okay, I know why this is acting weird, because I have a cam AI checked. So I don't want to do that. So now I need to go in here and apply the default. Okay, so ignore that last bit, because I forgot to turn off my cam AI, which I'll show you guys how to set up here, too. But basically, once you've got it in the default um, camera angle, which it should be when you start a match, you're just going to want to find a good camera angle that you like. Um, some people have been big fans of this one. The sort of... Uh, that sort of an angle um, and that's how you get that um, you know it's just rotating up and moving then moving the camera down anyway so you know it, it's pretty self-explanatory you can move the camera left or right um, up or down you can rotate it left or right but once you've got an angle that you that you like, let's say you really like that one, you go into presets and you can give it a name here. I can't remember whether you give it a name first. So let's just hit save current and it will just give it a, see it just calls it preset 28 because I have 27 other presets. So then you just give it a name, tutorial angle and then you hit apply and now the match is going to take place from that angle so let's say let's get an angle where you get that awful ghosting you know what I know I have some in here so let's just see if I can find it. Yeah, see how you get that terrible ghosting? So, in order to kill that in the presets thing, you select the, uh, this is the crowd cam, and you hit clear screen buffer, and that will save it with the clear screen buffer, but for the previewing, you just want to check that, clear screen buffer. So that's how you get rid of that ghosting if you're if you're getting it is just by clearing the screen buffer. 
Um, what you do want to do, and I, I like I just showed you, is come in here and make sure that it's got clear screen buffer checked in the save, because then it will turn it on automatically when you if you use that angle in an AI. So it's important that you come in here and, and make sure it's checked if you need it out here. Because this setting doesn't matter when you're the setting out here. This setting right here doesn't matter when you're using um, the AI to change camera angles during the match. So anyway, that's how you do that. Um, and there are also, you know, some people have shared um, files with their their angles. And to use that, you just import a preset. It will bring up a, a box, and you'll find the preset. I don't think I have any left um, that I haven't imported already. But yeah, you just import it, and you're good to go. So um, it's freaking out because I tried to import a preset that doesn't exist. So now I'm going to show you how to use the Cam AI Editor. And this is how you get the camera angles to change... Um, based on what's going on in the the match. So what you've got here is two pages of triggers, essentially. You've got general, grapple, top rope, Irish rip and run, uh, dive, when they're doing a move, submission and pin, ring out, dive, down cams. Basically, you've got a whole list of things that will trigger an AI. So what you're going to want to do is give it a name. So we'll call this Tutorial AI. Your default cam uh, will always need to be the default camera angle. And the best way to get that is just to, as soon as you boot the game up, um, turn off your free cam. And then um, if you have it on, turn it off. And it will go back to the default. If it doesn't hit Reset, there's a reset in the middle there. Um, I can't go back to it because this is a dialog box. But um, it should reset back to the normal angle and then just save that angle as your default. I called it default because that's easiest for me. But your default cam in a cam AI always needs to be de always needs to be the default angle. Otherwise, it will cause some serious issues when trying to change to other cam AIs. So there's that. So this here is the time between switches. I like to keep it about somewhere between 3 and 5. I'm going to do 3 for this one. So this cam preset is the preset that you're going to add to these lists. So let's say I want to add the default to all of these lists. So I'm just going to go down and add default. So it can always pick the default angle for any, for any situation that might arise. Um, I always like to have the default in there. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. Not everybody wants to have the, uh, the default in every setting. Um, the other thing that you have to do is you have to enable each trigger that you want to check for. Um, so I'm just going to enable them all. Uh, you don't have to enable them all. It's up to you. Um, but I don't think I've ever made a cam AI where it wasn't just fully enabled. So then, let's say you really like um, the crowd cam. You just add that to anything that you might want the crowd cam in. Um, we'll add it there, add it there, add it there, add it there, 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 there. Taunts, sure. KO cam, sure. Corner to center, sure. Basically, we'll just add this one to all of them, too. Now, let's say, remember, like this one that we're on now here in the background, the crowd cam? It's not really going to work for all angles. So let's say, um, you know, you, you get this angle and you're like, you know, that would look really cool when they're taunting and really cool when they're climbing the cage but I don't really want it on other angles. And then... maybe you've got the... Uh, bird's eye angle. Uh, 
I, it's probably one that I downloaded, and you want to add the bird's eye to when they get a 2.9 count. And then, let's say, you want to add zoom low to when they're grappled, to when they're doing moves, to when they're in the submission, uh, to when they're in the test of strength and strike exchanges. So this is a basic cam AI, it's not, you know, I mean, you could add a lot more. But once you've finished adding all of the stuff that you want, you just hit Save Cam AI. Then you can go ahead and close that. And then you come down here. You go to Tutorial AI, because that's the one we just made. <coughs> you hit Use This Cam AI, and hit <coughs> Close. And now it will change automatically um, whenever something is going on <coughs> that it has a check for. So any of those things that say Check Enabled, it will... <coughs> It will run a check every time one of those things happens and change the camera angle based on what's going on in the ring. So that's really all there is to it. It's not super difficult. It's just not documented because I hate writing. Uh, I hate writing tutorials, essentially. I hate writing the documentation for this shit. Um, the other thing... To be aware of, let's go ahead and go presets, and we're going to turn off the cam AI real quick. And we'll go back to... Oh, it is not... Presets, we'll go back to the default angle, apply. Um, and then I'm just going to show you mouse movement. So, with the mouse movement, you can hold down right or left click and drag your mouse, or the middle button for zooming, you can zoom in and out. The only thing with this one is that it will not... Um, you cannot save these. They do not save. So, you're not going to want to... Uh, you're not going to want to do this if you're trying to save an angle. This is mostly for just playing around. But the other thing about this is you'll notice that they doesn't follow the wrestlers anymore. Um... It just sticks at the angle that you want it to be at. So this might be good for guys for times that you don't want the action or the angle to change based on the wrestler's position in the ring. So, but you have to constantly keep moving it and updating it. So it wouldn't be great for streaming, I don't think. But um, you know, you can definitely try it out. And then once you uncheck it, see, this is why it doesn't save very well, because all of these positions are all weird now. So you can go to Presets and Default Angle and Apply, and then, yeah, now you're back. But, uh, so that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything that I needed to cover. I don't know why this thing froze up. Let's see what it's saying... Uh, oh, shit. I removed a bunch of moves. And, uh, one of the guys is trying to do one of the moves that I removed, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But, um, yeah, it was nothing to do with the camera angles. It's, uh, just me deleting moves. I'm trying to make my game more stable by getting rid of some of the move pack moves that I don't use. So... Anywho, somebody had a question. So, uh, Phoenix Nitro's just got answered. Um, if you set the same angle multiple times in a box, does it give it more of a chance for that one to show up? Yes. Um, so, it just picks a random one from the list, and so the more times it, an item appears on the list, the more likely it is to be selected. So, if you have four items on the list and three of them are the default angle, and one of them is the cr the crowd angle, it will pick the uh, the default angle 75% of the time, roughly. I mean, it's still random, so, you know, you might get weird situations where it picks the crowd angle eight times in a row, but generally it should work out so that, you know, about 75% of the time it should pick the the, uh, the default angle, if that's how you have it set up. So, 
But yeah, it, it works on a random, just like move selection and everything else. So, you know, you get those weird times when even though you've got something set real low, it picks it over and over again because that's how the dice are rolling in the random. So, um, you know, not much I can do about that without writing like an actual... Um, like logic system for uh, for each you know for how to pick each camera angle and um, you know it works so I'm not gonna do that that just seems like overkill and it seems like it would make the creation of these AIs needlessly complicated so but so that's it pretty much um, if you have any more questions feel free to ask me I'm gonna go reset my stuff so that it does what I want it to and not um, and doesn't continue to use um, the other thing and also I need to go and move lists uh, heal Carlzilla and was it running running to down, I think it was, that he was doing when it flipped out. Nope, they're all default there. Uh, so my, it might have been a down move. Uh, face up at head. Grounded hammer lock. I know I left that in, so let's see. Grounded hammer lock. Yeah, still there. So that shouldn't have been causing it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any more questions, you can hit me up on Critical Club. You can hit me up if you see me on uh, uh, Twitch. Um, obviously, my Twitch username is different than Carlzilla. It's Goatsart on Twitch. Uh, I think I made a Carlzilla account on Twitch way back and forgot the password and the email, so I couldn't reclaim it. So I'm Goatsart on uh, Twitch, but same same guy. So hit me up if you if you have questions. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna save this off, and I will probably upload this to YouTube for posterity's sake, so that it's saved and other people can watch it and. Hopefully they will get what they need and I can stop fielding these questions. All right, well, you guys have a good night, and I will be around, so uh, if you need anything, let me know.